everybody and welcome to DIY Tuesday. We are really excited for today. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a recipe out of the new Essential Life book. Guys, it is here and if you haven't grabbed your copy, go ahead and do that on our website. The link is going to be in this video after the, the video ends. And so we are just super excited about this book. It's gorgeous. It has a couple new updates. Uh, updates. Wow, English. Um, and the cover is a little bit different. If you have a second or first edition, you'll notice that the binding is a different color of green and then the image has been shifted a little bit. So that's how you know. And then it does say third edition on the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So today we're going to be making um, essential oil popsicles. I'm really excited for this. I know it's not quite warm enough for this, but yesterday as we were kind of thinking about it, we were like, maybe we should do popsicles because it sounds delicious. So we're gonna make them and it's gonna be fun. So let's go ahead and get started. The recipe for this, if you wanna follow along or you want to do this later, is on page 391 of the Essential Life book. Um, this is the third edition again, so it may be different in the second edition, but that's what is in the third. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we have our popsicle tray here, um, and really you're just going to kind of combine all of these ingredients into the blender, and then you're just going to pulse it and then pour it in. It's super easy. It's a really fun treat for anybody. Um, if you're going to do, you know, like a family game night or, you know, a couple friends are coming over, this is perfect. Um, and again, essential oil infused food is a really good way to introduce people to essential oils. It's so good because it's just kind of like, here, let me have you experience this and then they can form an opinion for themselves. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is I have my mixer here. So I'm gonna take this off and we are going to do this. So the recipe calls for a popsicle tray or you could do, you know, like, um, popsicle sticks, you know, like the actual wooden ones, you can do those as well, just make sure they're centered. Um, but we have this tray here, so that's what we're going to use. And then you're going to need a can of frozen juice. This really is going to decide what flavor your popsicles are going to be. So you're more than welcome to get any kind of frozen juice. We just have frozen orange juice for today, so we're going to go ahead and open this and put this in here. if it opens. And then we have somewhere there is a container of water. Oh boy, this is not working. The lid is not coming off. Uh -huh. There we go. Okay, so you're just going to want to dump this juice right into the mixer. And then you're going to fill the um, can about halfway with water. Um, this is going to make sure that it's not as thick um, and it blends a little bit easier and also freezes easier. So you're going to do one can of that juice and then you're going to do about a half can of water. And then we're going to add one banana. I can never open bananas very cleanly and so the end always ends up getting like smushy and stuff. And I'm serious. I think I learned one time how to really open a banana and I don't know, maybe I just don't eat bananas enough. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and add one banana. I actually really like the smell of bananas. Okay, so there is that. And then we're going to add two ounces of plain yogurt. So that's about four tablespoons of yogurt. So we're just gonna take this here. I'm gonna put these on the side here. And so we're going to take about four tablespoons and it's okay if it's a little bit more like you don't have to follow the instructions, you know, line by line. Um, but just get about four tablespoons in there. We're going to leave that because that was about four, even though it was three. Um, okay, and then we're going to do one teaspoon of vanilla. So we're going to take our vanilla and one teaspoon of that. This smells really good, you guys. Like, even if I didn't blend this and make it, it still smells amazing. Um, and then you're gonna go ahead and add one drop of wild orange essential oil. Now, again, you can kind of toy with this recipe, which is really cool. Um, you can, it's not coming out, there we go. Um, so, like I said, we did use orange juice, but you could do like strawberry or something and have like a strawberry orange kind of blend. Um, 
and it would probably taste amazing. Go ahead and toy with it. Um, somebody else suggested putting basil, a little bit of like basil in there. And I was like, that's interesting, but if you've tried it, let us know and tell us how it is. Um, so now I'm going to make sure that the cover is like really on here because I don't want this flying everywhere. Okay, I've never used a Vitamix before, guys. That's confession today. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just blend this. Maybe we'll just turn it on here. Perfect. Okay, so now that this has been blended, we're gonna go ahead and take our wonderful popsicle tray and you just fill it up. Um, and then I would probably recommend that you freeze this for about two hours, um, maybe even overnight if you're obviously wanting something a little more solid. But we're gonna go, maybe I shouldn't hold that. We're just gonna pour it in here. Oh, this smells so good, you guys. Oh my goodness. Like, I really want this in a candle for my house. Um, and like I said before, I know it's a little bit early to be having popsicle recipes, but this is a really good one. And to be honest, I'm kind of missing summer. Um, so we are just going to finish doing this. And the cool thing is, like, you can leave fruit chunks in here and... Um, Maybe even add, you know, like a couple of strawberries or something else um, just to get a little bit more texture or flavor. Um, you're more than welcome to do that. Like I said, toy with this recipe as much as you want. Um, if you have tried this recipe, let us know how it worked for you. Let us know if you liked it, if you didn't. Um, let us know if you'd like to try it. Um, and by the way, guys, we will be announcing the winner for that Essential Life book giveaway as soon as this video is over. So make sure that you have commented and liked and shared that video because the giveaway is ending today. So go ahead and head on there if you haven't already. Um, like I said before, this recipe was the popsicle recipe from the Essential Life book and it's on page 391 and we are super excited that you guys joined us for today and we are really excited to see you on Friday. See you then.